Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where science is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding tournament winners. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called players with two different columns, player ID and group ID. Player ID is the primary key that is column with unique values of this table. Each row of this table indicates the group of each player. Okay, we are also given a second table called matches with five different columns, match ID, first player, second player, first score and second score. Match ID is the primary key that is column with unique values of this table. Each row is a record of a match. First player and second player contain the flare ID of each match. First score and second score contain the number of points of the first player and the second player respectively. You may assume that in each match players belong to the same group. Okay, the winner in each group is the player who scored the maximum total points within the group. In the case of a tie, the lowest player ID wins. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to find the winner in each group. Okay, order of the result does not matter. Okay, so here we have several players and various five different matches. So let's look at who is the winner in group ID 1. So if you look at group ID 1, there are four players, 15, 25, 30 and 45. So if you look at 15, so there is one match of 15 and two. So in total, two matches in match ID 1, player ID 15 is a first player who scored three points. And in match ID 3, second player who scored zero points. So total, total point scored is three for 15. Now we look at 25. So 25, there is only one so which scored two. So obviously 15 has scored more than 25. Okay. Then let's look at 30. So 30, one point and then 30, two point. So three points, same as 15. But the question says if there is a tie, the player with the lowest player ID wins. So since 15 is less than 30, still 15 is winning. Then if we look at 45, so 45 here, you have zero points and no other. So the winner in group ID one is 15 and that is what you have in your output. Similarly, you can do for group ID two and three. So to solve this question, what we can do is merge these two information. Now there are a lot of people who will try to do this using union. How, what you can do is from this player's table, you can join on player ID is equal to the first player and get the first score. Then do the same thing but with player id is equal to second player and union both of them so all the cases where player id was the first player and what was their score as well as all the cases when the player id was second player and what was their score you can get in the long form and then you can simply go ahead and group by the group id as well as the player id and sum the score however let's try to do this in a more smarter way so here we know that either the player id can be the first player or the second player you can join saying that hey if your player id is equal to first player or if your player id is equal to second player perform a join right so let me start and start to do this so let me just drag it to the left what we are doing is firstly from this table called players aliased as p let me do a left join of the matches table aliased as m on p dot player id is equal to m dot first player right so player id can be the first player or p dot player id is equal to m dot second player and let us keep us all the columns and let's see what do we have in our output okay let me go ahead and run this i should need to you know drag this to the left so that it's easier for us to visualize let me just do that quickly okay so now if we look at it so you have player ids group ids let me just drag it above so player ids group ids and then different matches first player second player scores right so if we look at player id 15 right so player id 15 we saw that they place two matches match id 3 and match id 1 match id 1 there were the first player so you need to take this column score and in match id 3 they were the second player so you need to take this column so you see you can use a case when statements here so here you can directly go ahead and do group by the group id and the player id and see case when your player id is your first player take the first score 
if your player id is the second player take the second score and sum this up so that is going to give you for every group id and player id what is the total points scored so let us do that so once we have this what we are doing is let us group by the group id and player id both are coming from the players table so p dot group id and p dot player id let us return both of these and then what we are doing is we are going to use the case when statement that hey case when p dot player id is equal to m dot first player so when the player is the first player then you take the score from the first score column so m dot first score when your player id right so p dot player id is equal to m dot second player then you take the m dot second score else you take it as null and since you started a case when statement you need to end this as well so end and so basically you are taking first score or the second score right for each of the player ids based on the case whether they were the first player or the second player and if so you see you are grouping by the group id and the player id so if you perform a sum that is going to give you the total points so let us alias this as total points now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it we have let me just drag it to the right somewhat okay let us see so we have for every group id and player id what is the total points scored and if why there is a null here because player id 10 did not play any match let me just you know let us clarify that if that is the case or not so if you look at it player id 10 there is no mention in the matches table right okay so once we have that then what we can do is now we need to find out for every group id which player id had the maximum score right so you see what we need to do we need to rank so let us save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are trying to do is we are rank so from this common table expression let me return all the three columns and rank so let's use dense rank since this is a window function we write over and for every group id we need that right which player scored the maximum so partition by the group id then order by the total points in decreasing manner so total points in decreasing manner and it says the question says that if there is a tie the lowest player id wins what basically it means is if there is a tie in the total points what you do is you order by player id in ascending order and let's alias this as rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it for every group id so this guy ha and third player id 30 both have scored three points but since player id 15 is less than 30 they are assigned rank one similarly for group two and group three now once you have this then we only need to keep the ones who are winners that means rank is equal to one so what we can do is let's save this in another common table expression so cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses as well and then from this common table expression two, let us keep only those rows where rank is equal to one. And we are only required to return two columns. Return me the group ID as well as the player ID. And order of the result does not matter. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So if you look at it, this is accepted. Our output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So yeah, very tricky question, but that trick lies in the way you are going to perform a join so what we basically did was we know that player can be either the first player or the second player so what we did was we just made sure that hey 
from the players let's join the matches either you can be the first player or the second player and then based on that we grouped by the player id and use a case when statement that if you are a first player take the first score column if you are a second player take the second score column sum it up so that for every group id and player id you have the total points once we had that then we basically tried to rank based on highest total points and if there is a tie based on player id in ascending order and then we know that the winner in each group is basically rank equal to one so we kept only those rows where rank is equal to one and we return the group id and the player id so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video